Hi guys, this is Nicole from Steel and Flint. I'm here to show you how to make a GIF in Photoshop today. It's a really easy process and you only have to change a couple of things while you're shooting in order to give these clients this amazing product. So lately, as I've been shooting my clients, I've been consciously thinking about moments where I can take a burst of images that is going to look good when I put it together and kind of tell a story that brings the client back to that moment during their session. And I find that these small snippets of almost like a video clip of their session really seems to hit home with my clients because they're seeing these in their galleries and it kind of has that emotional response that brings them back to the day. So as you can see here, I have a series of seven images that I took during this session. And if we play through them, you'll see that each one is just a slight movement from the other, um, making it sort of look like a small snippet of video. So I've already edited these and I've actually downsized them as well just for easier file handling. The first thing I'm gonna do is select them all in Lightroom and control click and then we go up to edit in and open as layers in Photoshop. So what this is gonna do is open one Photoshop file that has all of these images stacked on top of one another. And thankfully with Lightroom and Photoshop being linked, this process is so quick and easy that you can make GIFs for every single session, make multiple per session. What we're gonna do now that we have our files stacked is select all of them in our layer toolbox over here, go over to edit and auto align layers. And now if your layers are close enough visually, Photoshop is going to be able to align them pretty easily. So that way you can isolate the motion in your photos. All right, and you'll see that there's been some clipping and warping on the outside, but we'll deal with that afterwards. The next thing you want to do is go up to Window and open up your Timeline toolbar, which will appear at the bottom of your screen here. And it's really easy, you just want to click Create Frame Animation. So now you'll see a timeline is starting to appear on the bottom of your window. If you go over to this menu on the right side, you're going to make frames from layers. So now you'll see that there are seven frames in my GIF that are all the different images that I have layered on the right side. So I'm just gonna click through and make sure they're in order. Sometimes Photoshop has a little bit of trouble. Yes, wonderful. So now if I hit play, you'll see that we already have a GIF starting to form. So this is a little too fast for me. So what I like to do is select all of the frames. And if you click into the timing for even one of them and select a longer period of time, it'll copy across the board. So now, it looks like this, which I think is a little bit more slow and romantic and kind of goes with the images that are being presented here. So now in order to get rid of this clipping, it's really easy. We just go in and crop in. So now we have this really nice isolated motion. You see that their heads are staying in one place while just the hand is moving. And that's pretty much it. So now to export, we go to File, Export, Save for Web. And I do like to downsize these a little bit just because it's not entirely necessary that they're full size for client galleries, but you can choose and do whatever you see fit and just hit Done. So now when you even read your file on your computer, it'll show up just like a GIF. And that's it. It's as easy as that. Thank you so much for listening and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.